What's up guys, Horrors of Gaming here and welcome back to another Fortnite creative map. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the new map. The uh, Your progress will be saved by Laturbo, Avidon and Team Create. Uh, as we all know I'm part of Team Create and we made this for Manchester. Uh, a museum that's opening up. Um, these guys, should I say, Manchester International Festival. Uh, they're opening up a museum uh, very soon in Manchester, England. Anyway, you can read through all of this if you want, guys. Uh, there's quite a lot of information. You can visit the Manchester Festival site and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, let's jump straight into it. I'm going to show you guys how to uh, complete this map. It's really awesome. We put so much effort into it, so much detail, so much stuff. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, you're going to be looking through for these mirrors throughout the map. And they will uh, take you to what you want to be going to. So there's a lot of information that you can read if you really want to. You can also read all this section. Uh, but I'm just going to skip it for the purpose of this video. So the first one, uh, you're going to be looking for memories. Uh, top left hand side of your screen, you're going to see that is 0 out of 5. You click the first one and it'll tell you what you're looking for. Come to this window, you can see the museum in game. That's the museum that's going to be opening in real life we recreated it in game so you guys can see it it looks absolutely awesome and uh, we did an amazing job of that uh, but yeah G Shue detailed a lot of this room with the coloring uh, the lighting should I say and the detail is so amazing and my favorite feature is the cereal in a pan absolutely brilliant nobody else noticed that except me R really funny but anyway let's uh, jump straight into the museum here we are backstage uh, the second memory you're going to be looking for is just over here all the memories you can find them by the little star on screen you can see in the background that's more uh, but yeah you can see that uh, see what it says there the third memory you are looking for is just up here just like that and then there's all these cool rooms as well which you can see around the edge which uh, La Turbo did and then we designed all the walls and stuff like that and uh, all the details. It looks absolutely amazing. Uh, but yeah, let's head through to the fourth memory, which is just up here to the right. There's also music playing, which is awesome. You can have a little dance if you want. So if you head over here, there's just one right there. You can also look through here to the theater. Uh, there's going to be a theater in the museum in real life. So we've recreated it in here as well. Uh, but yeah. The fifth memory takes you to a dropper that I made. Uh, I say a dropper, there's quite a few. And it's really cool, it's really immersive and it looks awesome. Um, but yeah, that's the first one. The second one, all you do is just sit there and allow your character to fall. If you do try to move anywhere, it's just not going to let you out of this little box anyway. So you best off just letting, letting your character f uh, fall and looking around, it looks awesome. Um, very cool and then the final one here drops you uh, looking up uh, like you started in that and then you get this slidey one which is absolutely amazing as well uh, I made this one look uh, like space well I tried to make it look like space as much as I could it looks uh, pretty cool I think but yeah you just slide all the way to the end and then it'll say um, that you completed the fifth memory all those memories give you clues on what to do next so one of the memories were look up or something like that. So what you want to do is you want to come to the back of this here. Come to the stairways. You can see the entrance is there. So to the left of the entrance. You want to head up here. Have a beer with Toblerone. Jump onto this uh, speaker. Don't do what I did. Um, this may take me a few attempts to get through all this parkour. Because there's quite a lot of it. Uh, so let's just jump uh, over here. Onto this light up here. Up here. And then across here before we go before i take you through all the rest of the parkour to finish the game i'm going to show you a little secret on which you can do to um, finish this quicker so that mirror there is a little hidden easter egg uh, i will put it at the end of the video but if you make it to that it takes you to a part of the map that you uh, kind of want to go to so i will put the clip of that at the end of the video but yeah let's head through uh, you can see pretty much what you have to do. Uh, Toblerone is having a boogie down there. But you just want to parkour through. Some of it is mediocre parkour. It's not too difficult. 
but it does get very difficult soon and it took me quite a while to do it uh, you can also inspect that if you want uh, and you want to jump up here turn around jump onto this one here and then try to uh, get up here as steady as possible walk up this beam across here through here and then you're in here so now what we're going to do is park our all the way up this so i may fall a few times so i may end up speeding it up but yeah just uh slowly gradually make your way up and um you will eventually get there Alright, there we go, we made it up there. I have to be a little bit quiet because uh, I have to concentrate. I am not very good at parkour. Uh, there's actually a thing. No! Oh my god, I just did that again. Whatever you do, guys, when you make it up, do not press that computer to return back. The first time I did that earlier, I did not read it and I completely forgot that it sends you back. And I've just done it again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed it up and uh, head up there real quick. Okay, we are back up. All you want to do is jump on this umbre umbrella, head over here, and uh, keep following me around. Uh, you'll see a bunch of umbrellas on these barriers, and you just want to try and bounce on them, and then get up onto the next section. This one, you may get confused by looking at that umbrella, but you don't want to do that. You want to head over to this section, jump up here, and then you can jump on that umbrella there jump up here it's a little bit tough you just want to try and push without nearly falling off like me oh my god try that again up here there we go turn around jump onto this and then over onto this and i completely missed great try that again head over here Sorry guys, I am absolutely terrible at parkour. Alright, there we go. Straight over here. Onto this umbrella. And you're going to see a bit of an outline there. You just want to jump over to that. There we go, just like that. Do not press that. Or you will get absolutely frustrated. So you want to jump up there on that tyre. Jump round here. It's a neo jump. This may take me a while because I'm not very good at it. But... You just want to jump up here, jump round there. I'm going to speed it up just because it's going to take me forever. All right, there we go. Now you want to jump on this tree over here, up here, then onto this, across onto this, and then onto this barrier up here. And then finally you're in the ice section. This one's like all different pieces. So you want to gradually make your way up this. Pretty much by jumping onto the lowest one first. And then working your way across. Um, onto this smaller one just here. Up here. And then there's a stairway. Then all you want to do is run all the way up this. Try not to fall off the edge. And eventually you'll get to a door that's going to take you to a cool little room. So let's head up there real quick. There we go. Close your eyes. Tobler is just there with his eyes glowing. That looks scary. And then follow this. You're going to head to this shed. You've seen this in the trailer. It looks absolutely awesome. You want to go inside it. And then hit the mirror. And there you go. You've completed the factory. Uh, your progress will be saved 2020, La Turbo Avedon, Manchester International Festival. You can check out the websites and YouTube channels and stuff there. Commissioned by Manchester International Fest Festival. Artwork and gameplay by La Turbo Avedon and Team Create. And you can check us all out there. Anyway guys, that is it for today's video. I hope it did help you as much as uh, I could. I will be showing you the clip in a second on how to skip that entire thing and head straight to this section uh, I do hope this helped you. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Click the bell to get notified when I upload in the future. And I'll see you all in the next one.